Let's talk about why you should have a photo camera or work with a photographer for things you need photos of and why you need a videographer and a video camera for things you need video. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. First of all, not all photo cameras can do video and not all video cameras can take photos. Since 2014, my husband and I have owned a video marketing company in Arizona and that does include photography. However, more times than I can remember, after a planned video session, the client will ask for photos or screenshots from the shoot and then questions why some of the images maybe aren't as crisp or as sharp as they thought. There are really two main reasons for this. Number one, resolution. Number two, shutter speed. We invest in quality equipment for our clients and our photo camera can provide two times the resolution our video cameras can. Also, when we're recording video, we will typically keep the shutter at 1 60th of a second, since that is half the frame rate of 30 frames per second, which creates that specific motion blur your eyes are used to seeing in motion pictures. Also, that is 30 frames in one second you're trying to pull out. Photo, on the other hand, would be faster, typically one two hundredth of a second to really freeze that moment in time. So movement is more crisp and sharp and not blurred. This is where planning ahead can really help you get the best quality to determine what do you really need and only want as video and what do you also want to capture as a photo. If you have any questions about photos versus videos, please leave them in the comments below.